No. No, me either. Well, hello. Station through here. Hi, guys. Hello. Just came off of the train. So you just uh, arrived in time to hear the spiel. That's it. Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't even completed the first paragraph. The guy uh, who uh, gave this land for the railroad through East Stroudsburg, his name was Robert Brown. That's there's a Brown Street down there. Okay. And uh, it's the only remaining wooden tower along the DL&W, oh, okay. uh, which originally extended from Hoboken, New Jersey to Buffalo, New York, and uh, some branch routes in between. In 1914, there were more than 4,000 mechanical towers uh, across the country. And at the beginning of the 1900s, uh, focus on signaling and switching uh, was a major, major focus. Uh, and the guy uh, who was president of uh, the railroad at the time, this railroad, William Truesdale, thought, oh, the railroad is 40, 50 years old. Uh, about time we upgrade it. Uh, we have a good reputation, but we want to keep the good reputation and, and make it even more appealing and safe. So they put towers like this along the way. You probably saw four towers like this. We saw on four the, of the concrete ones, yeah. Uh, yeah, along the way. And they were all concrete. They were all yeah, but they were but falling not, apart. Yeah, they are, but they're difficult to totally <laughs> uh, see fall apart. They will. Uh, uh, so uh, this actually these series of levers. It's all one machine. Uh, it's called an interlocking machine, and each lever controls something different. In uh, you know, uh, I got. Uh, a video, or not a video, but some stills over here. If you want to look at some of the photos that actually correspond to what I'm talking about. Oh, that's a uh, nice little model right there. That is a, a, a photo of the uh, tower when, in 1917 when it was only uh, uh, nine years old. Uh, and East Round with water towers, uh, the one that's there now. And uh, let's see what else is on here. Um, and how I move it. Okay, there's, we've got a picture of Cruzdale there somewhere. Uh, well, that's good. <laughs> that's the original on well, crossing gates. Uh, actually, there were four. One, uh, as you see there, two on one side and two on the other. Yep. And uh, if you want to try to move uh, one of these gates, uh, uh, Ooh, oh. One of these levers, darn gravity. Let me get a win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why is this not working? I'm so technically inept. Uh, there we go. There, there it is. is. There's a picture of Truesdale. And uh, he's the guy that uh, wanted to do, and, okay, that's our tower, our levers. Uh, I just had my computer worked on uh, this past week, and I am really not at all familiar with some of the new stuff that is uh, resulted. Oh, I didn't notice the. But, uh, if the you want to, there, there you go. That's another picture of uh, East Stroudsburg before the tower was here. Whoa, uh, much uh, different. Yeah, that the, station, the that, that station that you see with the railroad crossing sign, that's probably exactly where that uh, trackside yeah, yeah. bar and grill is it now. Was, it was this station. Oh, which caught fire when it was over there. Mm. Ah. 
and people didn't want to, uh, it was badly damaged, but there were people that wanted to preserve it, save it. So the owner at the time said, if you want it, you can have it, but you've got to move it because I want to put a bar and apartments over here. And some people said, oh, with all that, that is a sign that uh, it would an intentionally set fire. But, uh, and that's the uh, spring before, uh, like five months before the tower was built. Uh, the the, the uh, railroad had a staff photographer named uh, William, uh, Watson Buttle. And he took pictures of accident scenes and improvements that the railroad made, even before and after pictures. And this is a before picture, before the tower was built, only five months before. And uh, that uh, crossing guard shanty was there. And in back of the crossing guard shanty was a turntable for another a little railroad that went from uh, here to Bushkill. But that was the scene uh, in the spring, the year before this tower was built. Now, if I don't do the now there's an example, one half of the four gates, but they're both on both sides of, go ahead, find a spot over there, you can see it may be better. Um, uh, there were two gates on each side, total of four, and nine and 10 controlled those four gates from this tower. And if you want to try to move one of those levers, number nine makes the gate go up and down outside the window, but not uh, other than across the sidewalk. Make sure you don't walk on the cadet on the other hand. But that's what it takes. Yeah? Wow. That's what it takes to move one of those uh, levers. And that one actually makes something move. Wow. These other ones don't make things move, but they give you a... Uh, I'm moving back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if people try. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh. the color goes uh, red, signal, Ooh. black, switches, blue, locks, for two gates, and the white is the mirrors. If we went that way. Oh, it moved this way. Yeah. And then over time, as they electrified, they didn't need some of these workers for the quick uh, I know. Uh, signals, and so they became spare. I know. Computer commands later replaced yep, the old. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, electrified in 1937 made a lot of the lights, the electric lights. Therefore, you could have the spare levers. Yeah. Uh, that used to be used to raise and lower the semaphores. Yeah. Uh, now it. Let's see, I think uh, one of these, there's a, a picture of a guy, uh, a guy actually at work in 1976. Oh, wow. Um, these, these signalmen must have had enormous arms to do, to do that <laughs> work. I, I, I didn't finish or start it. I, I must have had the thought, but these levers were called Armstrong levers. <laughs> Not because of the name of the company that made them, because but because you had to have strong arms to make them work. And jokingly, they became known as Armstrong levers. There's another bit of railroad um, memorabilia, um, sort of, sort of thing that is named Armstrong, and that's the Armstrong turntable. Okay, there's an example of the semaphore before the days of electric signals. They used to be made to move by levers in towers. Those were the British ones, because we took we took British ones. Right? Well, a, a lot of a lot of uh, U.S. railroading was patterned after British ideas because they had railroads first. And that's how and that's how the Pacific Nine Thousand. Thousand was, huh. You probably know more Look, about there's the, a little the sink. history than I do. First, sir, Nigel Presley with a third so By the way, there's a little sink back here. Yes, uh, <laughs> and there's a toilet at the other end. Oh! Is that the original? Now, 
Yeah. You're 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 joking. Yep. Uh, oh. uh, when the tower man was here, he really couldn't leave. Uh, you know, if if he has my luck, when he leaves to go to the bathroom, <laughs> along comes a train, and you need to put the gates down or signals or whatever. So they had a toilet and a sink for the guy that worked in here, and it was manned uh, 24 hours a day because there were trains. Come, uh, my script here says uh, I think uh, seven passenger trains a day and freight. They all, you know, uh, many times as many. So he had to be not leave here. And well, so, I, well, hope they had a had a window open, or else it would stink in here. Yep. <laughs> uh, and that's why that window is uh, frosted. Huh. So you couldn't see him when he was doing his duty. Um, I have a question. Based on what era all these. Let's say it was 1922. What are we coming from? A camelback? Well, <laughs> there's a guy. He'll oh, hey, guys. What's up? In 1922, what was the style of engine? Camelback? Uh, go, up, go from there. We had camelbacks in 22. We had camelbacks up until 1950. Too, when the was discontinued on the Lackawanna. I thought they were declared uh, unsafe. They were declared they were unsafe to be built. There. They were not declared unsafe to, to be used. used. Because the ones that were already built, you can't just tell half the country's yeah, railroads. You can't operate around 50 to 60 percent well, of your well, fleet at the, the time. Government. Have you been with a B&O? You, re you remember that massive cam camelback, right? One, it's not a camelback, it's an inspection engine. Really? There's a difference. Inspection engines had a deck inside. Camelbacks have a cab inside. Okay. The camelbacks that survive are the ones in St. Louis, Age of Steam, and two more, but none of them are at the um, Baltimore Railroad Museum. Oh, okay. Um, what engine do you think should, should be pre preserved right now? The L and W Poconos. Black one or ever four eight four is only ninety foot long, but they were the some of the strongest northerns in America. Well, that's why we still have two sixty one. You could literally just slap all the paint back on. Boom, you got it. Nope, too big. It's too tall and too long by like thirty feet. Really? Huh. Now whistle right there came off a, a southern railway mountain type. It's part of my personal collection. I brought it up to the uh, tower today. Is that a Cros Crosby or a Han Hancock? Hancock. Oh, nice. Wow. Could you uh, could you give that to the people up in Strath Strathford to put on? You're supposed to put it up. In I need a valve. Every museum I tell, they tell me get a valve. I need a two inch valve. That's a thousand dollars of valve. I don't want to pay oh for God. that. Wow. No. Yeah, but I guess this is where the hey, signal men. The food this is where you sit pretty this much most of the day doing his paperwork, yeah, but over here is where the main job was actually done on the levers. Or help you have a seat. Yep. Black did your Big switching, out. blue locked the switches, and then you got your uh, reds, which would have been your lights. And actually, we can actually trigger part of the interlock in here. You gotta flip number 13. Uh, number 14, 13. Oh, now look, look, if I go and try and pull number 8, it's will still lock. But now if I throw number 17, come back over here, everything in the railroad was purpose built and made money. I know. I also know that this switching work, again, not just for America, but also this works for, um, well, the UK and um, Australia and New Zealand, when the guy lives, pretty much the same the way. They still use interlockings in Europe. Use they don't use them in America because we've automated uh, most of them. I know. I know nowadays when it comes to switching, computer commands later replace this, but this is much better. Every tower along the way. In Europe, they kept them because they need people to be employed. Communism helped right. with that. Yeah. 
Able to you know what? If you don't have a job, you get arrested and sent to the military. Yeah. And also, Em, you know what? I think would have gone there originally where the signal lamp would go. You know that? So, 